Hi, this is Chris here and I'm here with your Talk Plus video from part four of our life coaching series where I talked about silence and solitude. Now, hopefully you've had a chance to watch that talk and if not, I def definitely recommend you go back and do that. And I wonder how you found the exercise at the end where we just spent some time in silence, listening for God and waiting for, for him to, to tell us and speak to us about how loved we are. Now, this is an amazing thing to keep doing to get into our lives. And so as part of the talk, I asked the question, what are the noises in your life that need to be quieted? so you can hear God speaking and react in a way that reflects who you're created to be. Now, I think in the talk I spoke about, not necessarily those audio things, but the visual stimuli we have in our life as well, and all of the things we put in the way um, to kind of distract us, or that naturally just get in the way to do that as well. And this taking intentional time to, to be in silence on our own, just listening in to, to what God wants to say to us, I think is such a key practice for us to, to learn and develop. And I want to encourage you to have a go. Now, there are a couple of things I mentioned, and a lot of what I'm going to talk about and have spoken about can be found on the Practicing the Way website. It's www.practicingtheway.org. They have a whole section on there on silence and solitude with different um, teachings um, and some practical applications as well. If you want to grab a group of you together, I think there's six sessions that you can work through that material. So if you want to get some guys together, grab your circle, whatever, and have a, have a look at those, then that, this would be a really good place to get started. So what does practicing silence and solitude look like? Well, if we want to practice it, then there's a few things to look at, and I would say... The, uh, the place to start is just by putting it in the diary, having a plan, making it intentional, creating time to do it and working, uh, working out when it fits best for you, whether that's in the, in the morning or in the evening and just having a, a diarised time to do it, I think is really key. Um, some people prefer to get up early in the morning and do it, other people in the evening, but that's up to you. It's important to know as well that you can't fail or do amazingly at this. I think we can get better and more comfortable in the space where we've created um, that silence and solitude. But you can't fail or succeed at this really. It's just something to step into and have a go at. And it's really important that you set a modest goal at the beginning. So don't, don't if you've never spent any time in silence and solitude with um, with God, then don't go off and try and book yourself at a, a monastery for a silent retreat for a week. Um, I don't think that's the best place to start. It's probably just setting yourself, whether it's five minutes, a few days a week, just to sit, to be, and just to be still and and listen to God. Clear, clear your kind of thoughts and start with taking some deep breaths. And then just asking God to come and to, to speak to you. And some people would think, oh, I'll put some worship music on or I need to listen to a podcast or read a book or something to kind of initiate that and make it happen. And that stuff's all great. But there is so much space for just sitting and waiting and listening for what God wants to say to you. I like going for a walk, so sometimes I use that moment just to be in silence and solitude while I'm out walking. And that is a way that I engage with God. So I want to encourage you to have a go, find your method, find whatever works best for you and get stuck in, enjoy it. And we'd love to hear what you get up to, how God's speaking to you at the moment and ways in which you're engaging with him. And hopefully you see him and hear him in a way you never have before as you start looking at silence and solitude in your life and cutting out the noises and things that distract us and point us away from him. Have a great time. Enjoy. Thank you.